What's going on? What is up? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Trending Show. Justin, my man, my my co-host, Pound It. How are you doing? So good. And uh, shout out to everyone watching yes. and listening on your favorite podcast yes. platform or Absolutely. Alexa. Alexa. Good job, Eric, setting that up. Yes, sir. If you own a uh, Amazon speaker, Echo is what they're called. I always want to call her the Alexa. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Amazon Echo device. Of, uh, if you go into your Alexa app uh, and you search Trending Show Podcast, mm-hmm. we are a skill that you can enable uh, and it'll be a part of your flash briefing. So I would encourage you guys to, if, if you if you like your Alexa and you'd like asking her questions and asking her what's up, uh, enable that skill and then you can just listen to the podcast. It'll, it'll play the freshest podcasts uh, of the week. So... So yeah, awesome. check it out. That is so awesome. Good job check setting that up. Check it out. Thank you, sir. This is a great list. We've got some <laughs> hilarious <laughs> things to talk about. First off, Jake Paul. Yes, sir. Jake Paul, finally, uh, the, the, fight, the fight happened between him and, and Gib. I've heard people say Jib or Gib. Okay. I think that's like the play on GIF or JIF. You know, like oh, what is it? Okay. What, what do you say? Like, uh, a, like, a, like GIF. A, a GIF, right? A GIF. Yeah. GIF. Yeah. There's, you know, there's a whole thing about like whether it's GIF or GIF. Really? I just say GIF. I didn't know that. Anyways. I thought everyone called it GIF. So I call him Gib. Yeah. Not Jib. It works. But anyways, the boys boxed. Mm-hmm. They did it, yeah. and Jake Paul <laughs> defeated him in the first round. He kept dropping to his knees. Dude, he was rocking him. Yeah. Rocking him. Wow. It was a good yeah. fight. Yeah. Enjoyable. Yeah. And it, it only lasted, what, two minutes, two and a half minutes? Yeah. It was quick, man. First round stoppage. So, uh... I mean, I mean, obviously you put in the work training and whatnot, but like you spend two minutes making, I, I don't know what he makes and I'm sure that they'll, they'll share purse details and whatnot yeah. later. I, that's a, that's a lot of money for two that's minutes. You know money. what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. So good yeah. on him. Yeah. Enjoyable to watch. Oh yeah. man. This next one, it hits <laughs> home for me. It hits home for me. The one, the one you're talking about, I'm assuming is the James Corden comes clean about carpool karaoke that is the one i'm talking about all right so if you haven't watched the video uh someone (laughs) spotted justin bieber and james corden in an suv filming carpool karaoke but it was being towed they weren't driving right right. and so there's this some people are like legit upset about it oh yeah which is ridiculous yeah right ridiculous it hit home for me because i spent three years yep doing before carpool karaoke (laughs) before before yes, um, comedians in cars getting coffee, we did daily vlogs in a car. We were the first <laughs> to do that. Oh, innovator! No, and for I sure. drove every single time. Every single James Corden time. Cheater. No, I get it. I get. It. He had to do it because sure, he absolutely. Want to his car. And I was, I was hoping, I was hoping you'd bring that up because those were, those were fun days, man. They were fun. Those days. were so much fun, and those videos are still around on YouTube. They're still around, and actually. Um, I'm gonna, I have a flashback coming up for later in this episode, okay. which we'll okay. enjoy. Okay, yeah, perfect. We'll enjoy. Perfect. But, uh, fun controversy. People need to get over it. Like, no, it was fun. He doesn't want to wreck. Yeah, exactly. His dialogue, his monologue was hilarious, <laughs> man. Just digging into people. Uh, and then he shows the list. So so the, obviously the biggest thing is everyone's like, hey, it's a lie. He doesn't really drive the car right. and blah, blah, blah. Right. And, you know, he's like, he's like, well, sometimes, yeah, we do stunts. We do dance routines and stuff like that where it just wouldn't be safe for me to be driving. And those are the those are the yeah. times that we've towed. It's like five times. Yeah. Five times they've towed the car. Right. And then they show the list of all the times he's actually been driving the car. Oh, yeah. Which is like 95 percent of the time. Right. Right. It was it was just so funny. And it's so funny that people just get worked up over it. You know what I mean? They do. And how upset would people be if he was actually driving and doing some of these dance routines? Yeah. Putting everyone's lives at risk. Right. But yeah. Except they're like, oh, you cheated. How could you, how could you tow your Range Rover yeah. with Justin Bieber oh in the my car? Gosh. I, people have yeah, too much yeah, time I, on their hands. Way too much time, man. Next one on the list is a, is a, a not even a commercial, a teaser yeah. almost for the GMC Hummer. The Hummer's back. Electric. And it's electric. That's a big deal. I'm that is, excited. Yeah. That's like so Hummers, like the like the original Hummer, like the Humvee, like mm-hmm. the military vehicle yeah. was like if you had a Hummer, you were that was like just the sign of 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 wealth. Oh yeah. And, and class and you were just yeah. like you probably also had a swimming pool. <laughs> 
you know? Yeah. Like that, oh, yeah. When I was a kid, it was like, oh, they have a Hummer. They probably have a pool with a slide. <laughs> and a diving board. It's probably yeah. like it's probably like an eight-foot deep pool. Yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, Hummer's back, man. I remember I remember when they revived Hummer with with the version, like after... Well, was it wasn't it a H3, revival. It was like H two. Yeah, they did something. like Hummer, and then they did H two. They yeah. did H three, which is like a smaller version. Yeah. But I'm curious. Like they only show like the sound of horses, and then they show no sound. Right. And then they're like, "This is what the Hummer sounds the like." Oh man, I'm just looking at those headlights. And it looks so, fresh. Yeah. I no, you that. don't even see the vehicle. It's no, just like a like a a teaser, a teaser of the Hummer. Are they going to show us like in a Super Bowl commercial? Dude, I mm-hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. Cool. The tis the season. We were talking about it last episode. Tis the season where you see all the Super Bowl commercials yeah. coming out, and that I my guess is it's a teaser, and they're gonna drop so it. So good. They drop it during the big game. Okay, 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 okay. Next one on the list, man. <laughs> Kendall Jenner and Average Andy learn a routine from the Cheer Squad. If you guys can remember, just last episode we were talking about the Cheer. The Cheer Squad and the Cheer documentary that's yeah. on Netflix, right? right? And it's called Cheer, just straight up called Cheer. Anyways, uh, I have since watched the entire docu series. Nice. It's, it's only six episodes, okay. but um, I dedicated. I sat down and I watched every episode. I was hooked. Really, I was hooked, man. What is it about it that made you? All right, so here's the here's the deal. It's a it's a it's a college a, a junior college in Texas. Okay, okay Navarro College, and they have won the national championship 13 times. And so the national championship happens happens once a year in Daytona, Florida, and all of the college teams are are striving to get to this get to this competition and and win. Whoa. And so uh it's what's so interesting about the docu series is that it it just takes a look at at the squad for this year and the dedication that goes into this one performance. Whoa. That's it. This two minutes and 20 seconds. Whoa. They're dedicating their lives for that moment. Is there a cash prize when they win? I don't. I, there's a trophy. There's okay. uh, the clout that comes along with it. Okay. There's um, obviously, I mean, obviously it's, it's, uh, it's doing well for their careers in that they're on, right. they've been on Ellen twice now. Sweet. Second time it's, we're seeing it on trending. With the cheer squad, anyways, uh, I I just was blown away by what they put their bodies through. Yeah, like some of these some of these girls and guys are, they've got back issues, ankle issues, shoulder issues, so many, and and they just push through the pain because it's the two minutes and twenty seconds in Daytona wow. that they've dead that they're dedicating to. But once that two minutes and twenty seconds is over, that's it. That's it. They're done. Like there's there's literally and I said this before watching the series. I was like, what do you do after it? And there's absolutely a shelf life because beyond that <laughs> I thought you had an answer to it. I thought I found out what they do no, after but that's it. It's done. That's it. You wow. know, like some of them coach. Yeah, uh some okay. of them it's uh, good for their resume. Uh, yeah, and you were right. And... You were right in that there's certain characteristics and, and personality traits that they can carry into other other jobs and whatnot. But anyways, just wild. It, it, it oh. was crazy. I would I would encourage you to watch it, man. It's yeah. fun. Like I'm not. I wasn't in cheer. I didn't. I don't, yeah. I don't follow cheer, but it was. Uh, it was a cool. It was a cool docu series. It was so done cool. really well. You know, speaking of Netflix documentaries, I haven't seen this, but my wife did. Don't mess with cats. Uh, uh-uh. I've not seen it, dude. Dude, what's it about? So it's about this person killed some cats. Okay. Like house cats or big cats uh, or kittens, cute kittens. Oh no! Yeah, okay. I've seen just a little bit of this. Okay, and he posted it online, and there's a group of people who are like, "Oh heck no, uh-uh. no!" So they take the like two minute video frame by frame and figure out where he is, what? and who he is, and then they follow him as he commits some other crimes. I'm not going to spoil it. I haven't seen it, but Cassie told me about the whole thing oh. on a run. Um, and oh my gosh, dude, it is worth. You can't get away with anything these days. No, thankfully, thankfully, oh he should have been my caught. Goodness, he was. but uh, you gotta, you gotta check that out. Don't mess with cats, dude. I'm, I am not a cat person. Yeah, I, and and I may, I may offend some people. I, am, I just, I don't even like cats. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, well, first of all, I'm highly allergic. So yeah. like, we can't. We, yeah. we've never had a cat as a pet and whatnot. Yeah, and I just, I. 
I'm a dog guy. Yeah. Like my my dog comes up and snuggles and all that. Yeah. I've just never seen that come from a cat. And, yeah. and I'm sure people will correct me, but. To kill kittens, man? <laughs> right. It's not that level. I right. am not there. No, he, uh, in the first five minutes, you see that he, like, puts them in a bag and vacuums the bag. Oh, no, dude. Him. Yeah. Like, I don't oh. like snakes, but I'm not going to hurt snakes. Yeah, right. right? Absolutely, yeah. Right? Oh. But uh, you know what? I don't like celery, and I will throw all the celery away. Celery dude, is awful. Dude, put all the celery in a bag oh, and vacuum it. it celery <laughs> is <laughs> disgusting. It's a mistake. <laughs> Celery's wrong. But, uh, yeah, so don't mess with cats. Uh, worth watching, not with the children. Next one on the list. Uh, this one is this one is sad. This is the the uh, new video shows Kobe Bryant's helicopter before the crash. So um, CBS this morning they've got uh, iPhone footage of what is what we've learned was uh, Kobe's helicopter before uh, before the crash. And of course, as you know, this week uh, just really sad news. There was a, a helicopter that he was on. Him and nine other. Or I'm, I'm sorry, nine people total, uh, the um, helicopter crash, and they all uh, passed away. Um, I I was not, I'm, I'm not a basketball fan. I'm right. not a, I don't, I can't say that I've ever sat down and watched an NBA game start to finish, and, and I don't have a team, or I don't, I don't, I don't have anything like that. But, but Kobe, what was, so, what was so interesting is when I heard the news of Kobe, and it, and it was really weird is like, I, I immediately was like super sad yeah. and there was a cloud, just a, a it was a gloomy day. Like yeah. it was just a, a sad day all around. And, and you think about that people, you know, people pass away all the time, celebrities and, and athletes and things like that. But, um, when for some reason I was just so, uh, I, it just felt, it just felt, I felt really sad. Yeah, yeah, and and then you look at, um, you know, as people start talking about it, you just see the influence he had and the impact he had on not just as a basketball player, but just right. as a human. Right. And um, and to me, I think it's just it's it's how he lived his life and how and the and the and the way in which he conducted himself and the, and the people he influenced that is is why I felt the way I did because he. He truly. There are people in this world who just are one of a kind, and when they when we lose those people, it just sends this cloud yeah. out. And yeah. for me, who was I? Like I said, I was never. I never watched his games. I never was right. a Lakers fan. I never yeah. was like you know Kobe. I felt that, which yeah. is which is which was so interesting to me right. that um, he had that uh, he had that effect on. Obviously, the people he's closest with, but just the world. Even a guy know. who hates basketball and cats. <laughs> Even, <laughs> dude, and that's the thing is, I'm not a basketball guy either. But uh. it, his his reach transcended sports. That's the word. Yeah, it was far right. beyond anything that had to do with sports. And let's talk about funerals. Uh, oh no! No, this is the, here's the thing. I've been to several funerals in my life. Yeah, my mom's funeral. Everyone say nice things, and it's like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've heard these things. I believe yeah, these things. Yeah. But most funerals I've been to, <laughs> not most, two come to mind where I was sitting there hearing people say nice things about the person who died, and I'm like, I thought we all kind of disliked this person. <laughs> Why are we just saying nice things now that they're not here? Maybe we should say the nice things when they're around. Right. Build them up. Make them feel good. Yeah. Make them know how we feel. It's just so fascinating to me how oftentimes we reserve the feelings that we yeah. have about people, how they inspire us, how they like, right. how they've done a good job at something or whatever, whatever it is, mm -hmm. until they're dead and gone. <laughs> so maybe we could like give the funeral speech when people are still alive, right? Okay. Those nice things that you would say to someone at their... At their funeral, like, yeah. oh my gosh, you were there for me then and then, and you helped me here, yeah. and you inspired me with this. Yeah. Why are we saving that for when they're dead? <laughs> right? So true. We gotta, we gotta build. I don't know. Flip I think the script. That's that. interesting. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good outlook, man. I like that. I like that. Be more vocal about how you feel about people. Don't wait till they're dead. Right. Don't yeah. wait till they're dead. It's too late. <laughs> it's, 
Rhett and Link, Good Mythical Morning. Can we remember no. the dumb things we said? So, uh -oh. Rhett and Link have been on the internet for a very long time. A long time. And uh, so, in this video, they're playing <laughs> back some things that they said, and they had to, like, fill in the words. So, right, like, hey, right. you tweeted this. What was it? Hashtag whatever. Like, Hashtag what, what were you talking life. about yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Eric. Oh, man. Let's do some trivia. I had a feeling this is coming up. It's good. It's not dumb. Their video is, can we remember the dumb things we said? This is not dumb. Okay. All right. But you got to fill in the blanks. Okay. And then can we splice in the video clip? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I'll show it to you, and while you're watching it, we'll just splice absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay. October 3rd, 2012. Okay. 2012. All right. All right. So we're seven and a half years ago. Okay. Conversation between you and I. Okay. Yeah, give me some backstory. Is this a, is this a video? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a video. video. Is it a, which... I'll put a link to the video in the YouTube description and the podcast show notes. Okay. All right. Just you and I. Just you and I. Okay. Eric, I don't think it's a bad idea. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that people would tip to be completely owned by my blank, blank, blank. I don't think it's a bad idea. And correct me if I'm wrong, Correction. but I'm pretty sure that people would tip to be completely owned by my... <laughs> Justin. <laughs> I'm not even halfway. I'm not halfway. Okay. Justin, right. this is me. Okay. Well, I think I want to be blanked by your blank, blank, blank. Well, I think I want to be blanked by your <laughs> Eric, all right, are you ready? Justin, do I drop blank, blank? Eric, let's start with you dropping blank, and I will lay blank, blank, and then we'll vice versa. All right, you ready? Do I drop Um, How about let's start with you dropping okay. I will lay down the okay. and then we'll vice versa. Okay. Okay, okay, all right. I remember this video. I remember this video. We were, uh, we're rapping. Nice. We were rapping in the car. Nice. Right? Yep. Okay. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty I'm... sure that people would tip to be completely owned by my blank, 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 blank. blank. Uh, Let's see. Okay, seven and a half years ago, Eric, we're it's I remember us in the car rapping. Uh completely owned by my mad rhyming skills. Pretty close. Freestyle skills. Freestyle Ooh. skills. Dude. I don't think it's a bad idea. And correct me if I'm wrong, Correction. but I'm pretty sure that people would tip to be completely owned by my freestyle skills. Right. Well, I think I want to be blank by your blank, blank, blank. Owned by your mad freestyle skills. All right, you ready? Justin, mm. do I drop a beat? Oh! oh! Let's start with you dropping a beat. A sick beat. And uh, I will lay okay. the freestyle, the rap. Uh, the rhyme? The sick rhymes. The sick think. rhymes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I want to be owned by your freestyle skills. All right, you ready? Do I drop a beat? Um, how about let's start with you dropping a beat. Okay. I will lay down the rhyme, okay. and then we'll vice versa. Okay. Dude. Good job. Thank good you. Job, dude. That was awesome. Thank you. That was awesome. That was good. I was worried well there for a second. I was like, what did, what did I say? What did I say seven and a half years ago? What am I owning people with? <laughs> After watching the like, good oh. Mythical Morning episode, I was just scrolling through. Yeah. And that one came and I was like, dude, that is the funniest thing. Dude, um, there's, there are, I say this all the time. We've been making videos for um, almost a decade here yeah. on YouTube. So if you wanted to really get oh, in yeah. a click hole and go deep yeah. and find out some, <laughs> see some funny things that we've done, uh, it's there for you. Yeah. It's there oh, for it's you there. to find. It's there. And there's a bunch yeah. of them. Like if you go to, YouTube forward slash Our Little Planet. Yeah. And search for ePoddle. There are so We many. collaborated so it's often. It's so dude. funny. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that people would tip to be completely owned by my <laughs> blank, blank, blank. It could have been really bad. I read it to it Cassie really and she's bad. like, no, he didn't. What did he say? <laughs> so good. As far, dude, as far as remembering things, he, remembering dumb things we said, okay, my children... My my oldest son in particular has a memory that scares me. Oh yeah. Like yeah. remembers down to details. Ooh. Just yesterday, uh we had waffles for dinner. Yummy. Cool. Delicious. <laughs> Sweet. I'm in. <laughs> Cohen gets the waffle and he goes, Oh, this is good. You know what? This tastes like uh the funnel cake at Disneyland. And then uh Amy goes, Oh, that's cool. When did when did 
I feel like, when did we have funnel cake? He goes, oh, well, when we were in Disney World, right before we went on the Star Wars ride, we ordered a funnel cake while we were waiting in line. He went to Disney World when he was five, Justin. Oh, so he's oh got a memory gosh. like that. I mean, down to like what wow. people wear, like what yeah. you were wearing. So yeah. like if I forget something, if I forget a detail and I'm like, God, I'm like, Colin, what day did we do such and such? Yeah. He's like, oh, it was this day we went afternoon because we had just finished eating lunch. Weird. Whoa. Weird. Now, granted, he's 12. So in there's 12 years of memories to like yeah. to sift through. Yeah. You know. Uh, and what was Justin wearing? <laughs> I think plaid. <laughs> Genius! <laughs> He's brilliant, dude. That's but kids, wild. Kids remember, my kids at yeah. least remember the weirdest things, which just keeps you on your toes, man. Yeah, it does. Got to watch what you say. Got to watch, gotta what, gotta you watch say. what you. Dude, we joke that they they blood oath us all the time. You know, as a parent, it's like, oh hey, uh, hey hey dad, we you said that uh, oh, the yeah. pool floaty broke, so you said next time we were at Target, we we're gonna buy a pool floaty, right? I'm like, dude, it's December, and yeah. I said that in July. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. But they blood oath you like, you said we were going to do this. You're a liar. You're a liar. So. Just like the. Yeah. Kids, man. Kids. <laughs> Fun. Kids are ridiculous. And they have expert hearing. Oh, they yeah. They hear like an animal that hears really well. <laughs> a bat. Nope. <laughs> nope. Dude, they have great hearing. They all Seriously. do. All the children. It's ridiculous. Next up. Hashtag Posty Store inside Post's brain. Dude. I love Super Bowl commercials. They're the best. They are the best. They're the reason you... I show up to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I just that. I love it. True. It's true. Like, they spend their, like, that's, these are the pieces of media, the pieces of marketing that there is a team dedicated to this one 30 second spot, one minute spot. Like they, the whole year is spent on how can we make this amazing? Yep. And so you get the funniest of funny, yep. you get the crispiest of crispy, the best of, of comedy. And I feel like this posty store vi- uh, commercial is, is that in a nutshell, dude. It's so good. So imagine, uh, okay, imagine, po- imagine Post Malone going into a gas station to get Bud Light. Not hard to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> he goes in. He goes into the store and he sees uh, Bud Light seltzers. Yeah. Then it warps into his brain. So imagine like Disney Pixar Inside Out, right? That's what it was. Yeah, I was trying Dude, to figure out what that was. Disney yeah. Pixar Inside Out, where it's like the the human or the the pieces inside the brain that are making decisions and, right. and collaborating together. Dude, there's there's guys and girls inside his brain. They all have Post Malone tattoos they on their face. Do. The, the always yeah. tired with like the cross and the and the they're all tatted up. It's the best. Anyways, they they proceed to argue over whether they're gonna get Bud Light or these seltzers. Yeah, and uh, and they're controlling like a switch yeah. in his brain, and so he's just popping all over the place, running into running into counter. Hilarious. Uh, they eventually say, "Yo, dude, we're rich. Get both. <laughs> get both." That's amazing. So, all the while, he's completely destroyed this gas station with his body flailing around. He uh, walks to the counter with both uh, both cases of a, a case of Bud Light and case of the seltzers. And uh, <laughs> the best line, dude. Got any pretzels? Got any pretzels? <laughs> the way he so says funny. it in his post Maloney way. That is so just, funny. Like, I was dying. Oh, I love it. Dying. So when you go into a convenience store to get gas or on a road trip, what are your... Go to convenience store. Oh, get some of the Red Bull. Okay, here's this is it. You ready? Wait, what <clears throat> gas station do you stop at? All right, so uh, so we we're in Idaho, uh, from Vegas. We drive to Vegas quite a bit. I stop in a small town called Burley. Shout out to Burley, Idaho. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Smells like cow manure. Yep. Uh, the kids gag every time we get out in the car. Yep. Uh, there's a stinker store. Right yeah, there, okay. right next to yep. uh, the, there's a restaurant. It's like a like a garden inn or something. Okay. There's a sinker store. That's the that's the go to stop. Okay. That's like our halfway point between here and Salt Lake. Anyways, yeah. I I I use the restroom. I come out. I hit the chip section. Kettle chips, honey Dijon. All oh, right. Never had Dude, them. get after it. Life changing. Okay. okay. And then a uh, pack of Starbursts because I like I like that like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that like fruity, right. you know. Right. Uh, and then uh, usually just water. 
That's good. Usually just That's a water. Yeah. 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 So I enjoy what about, the Funyuns. What about you? Funyuns. But I haven't had them in like eight years. Because it just makes the car weird. Dude, the car smells it gets weird. like Funyuns for yeah. like six days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, it's like, bad. And then you got kids that are just... Yeah. And it's like your floor is, is like 10% carpet, 90% Funyuns. Funyun dust. Yeah. And so it just... It's just yeah. stanky. It's stanky. So I, I, I like them, but I don't. Yeah. And then uh, the nachos, gas station nachos, man. <laughs> oh, dude. But it's a problem because, like, it's not, it's cheese, quote unquote, and it's chili, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's delicious. Probably neither. Do you like those? I, I can't say the last time I've had gas station nachos. Oh, I'll do, man. I'll do the, I'll do similar at like a football game. Or like a like a yeah. uh, you know a concession stand yeah. at an at an event. Yeah, they have the same cheese and the same questionable chili. Yeah, which yeah. is more just like chunked up. I don't even I, I can't describe it. It does not look appealing. It looks like something else, but yeah. it tastes amazing. And I haven't, dude. I probably had bunions and gas station nachos probably eight years ago, maybe ten. I just yeah. really like it. Yeah. Oh and yeah. So I'm like, dude, I just can't. Just, yeah. I just I avoid it. It's so funny. God bless him. It's so funny. Post Malone probably gets down on some gas station nachos, I, I dude. Think, yeah. That guy. Yeah. That guy's probably pounded a few gas station Seriously. nachos in his life. Dude, get Funyuns and put the chili cheese on dude. Funyuns. Did you just change my life? Oh my gosh. You just changed my life. Today. <laughs> so good. Great list. Justin, thanks for chatting it out oh, with me sure, today. Man. Good times. Good times. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening uh visit the trending show.com to see uh all the places the ch- platforms that you can follow us podcast youtube instagram all of the above we'd love for you guys to follow along uh as we do this show and on youtube if you want subscribe like the videos and on your podcast just a little star review and a little ditty yeah. just saying oh my gosh whatever a little ditty really helps little ditty us come up in the trend about eric and justin <laughs> tap the like button and give us a share too much. Oh, I was trying to figure out how far you're going to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. The show goes on. Shining and shining. And Coming on, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you next time.